Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Mary pulls her hair and they kiss as they go in. Damn. What the? What the? Hang on. Hang on. Hi, dude. I'm from Cheater surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. It's just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't take the lies. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. I have the excuses. This is something that I've got to know. They're together right now. <laughs> there they are. Let's go. What's up, homie? Who are you, homie? Hey, 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 stop! How did you do this to me? Man, stop! Ow! Stop! Like, stop! Man, you better get right with God. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real reality television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hi, I'm Joey Greco. Thanks for watching this installment of Cheaters. Please meet Michael Laughlin an amiable fellow with questions about his girlfriend's reluctance to tie the knot. Worried about her possible involvement with another man, Michael brings in cheaters to settle his suspicions. Michael Laughlin, age 36, a cable technician worried that his long-term girlfriend attracts other eligible bachelors. The first time I met Cynthia was at her wedding I was just dating a, a friend of mine, and I always thought that I could have somebody like her, and and uh, it turned out that I did, you know, and her and her husband separated, started going out, and she was just, uh, she was beautiful. The change Cynthia has gone through the past six months with her, uh, when she had her car accident, um, it was hard on her at first. Uh, you know, while they, uh, while they, you know, had to reconstruct her ribs, while they was doing that, she decided to go ahead and get breast implants. And I had no problem with that, you know, and uh, it's something she wanted to do. But our relationship ever since then has not been the same. You know, at first, you know, we had sex all the time. But here recently, you know, since her accident, we've only had sex a few times. Um, she She's always staying up late. I go to bed before she does, because I have to get up and go to work. And she doesn't, she doesn't seem to help out. Uh, the truth that, that is the most important thing is the truth for me to find out, you know, because it's just driving me. I can't work, you know. I can't keep my mind focused on my job when I'm worried about what she's doing, you know, on the side. So I need to be focused on one thing right now, and uh, that's this job I have because that's that's my only that's the uh, you know the only thing that keeps things going. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Cynthia Murphy, age 38. An unemployed woman stepping on her boyfriend's heart by seeing another man. Investigation day three. Cheaters detectives continue to keep a close watch on the residence Michael Laughlin shares with his girlfriend. After lying low for several days, Cheaters P.I. spot an unidentified man walking to the front door. Without bothering to knock, the fellow enters the home. Cheaters agents watch as the unknown man exits sometime later with none other than suspect Cynthia Murphy. The two pile into her truck and depart the neighborhood. A few miles away, suspect Murphy and her companion stop at a local malt shop to grab a bite to eat. Any hope of innocence quickly evaporates. The gentleman demands some attention by manhandling suspect Murphy. Once inside, it's more of the same heavy petting and incessant fondling. A little while later, the lovesick couple makes it back to the truck and exits the location. Cheaters P.I.'s carefully trail close behind to determine what's next on suspect Murphy's agenda. 
Next stop, a country and western honky-tonk bar. The two head right in and take a few shots before rushing to the dance floor. The alcohol appears to have an effect as the male companion struggles with his two-step. Moments later, suspect Murphy and her boyfriend sit down and proceed to go at it again. The impassioned couple seems to desire a more private setting. Cheater's P.I.s follow the two back to suspect Murphy's pad, where the companion invites himself inside. Investigation Day 7. Assured of suspect Murphy's continuing deceptions, Cheater's detectives remain close by her at all times. Cheater's agent's diligence pays off as suspect Murphy's companion, now identified as Billy Hartley, shuffles toward her front door and once again lets himself inside without knocking. Following recent developments in the case, complainant Laughlin has installed hidden cameras throughout the house to assist in the investigation. Suspect Murphy and companion Hartley waste little time in getting down to business. Just minutes after making his entrance, companion Hartley has suspect Murphy on the kitchen counter, then in the living room, and eventually in Michael's very own bedroom. Cheater's PIs are shocked by the explicit revelation. Clearly, suspect Murphy has no difficulty entertaining herself all day while Michael works. Cheaters ends a long day of inquiry after companion Hartley departs the residence. Investigation Day 8. Regrettably, Cheaters investigators continue their surveillance of suspect Murphy's residence to confirm all of the facts. On this sunny afternoon, companion Hartley once again makes a social call. He pops inside, and the couple immediately begins another explicit sexual encounter. Suspect Murphy's contempt for complainant Laughlin is demonstrated in this recorded telephone conversation. Hello. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, sir. How are you? All right. How are you? No, I was thinking about you. How's your day going? Uh, all right. How are you coming home? Uh, I'm ready for you to come home. Feeling all right? Yeah, I'm having a better day than yesterday. My back hurts a little bit. My head hurts. Not as bad as yesterday. What time do you think you'll be home? Uh, 5 30, 6 o'clock, maybe. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you then. Cheater's agents immediately prepare to inform Michael of suspect Murphy's debauchery. Coming up, the confrontation. Confirming Cynthia's culpability, Cheaters extends a helping hand to Michael in hopes of rescuing him from a harmful relationship. Shaken by the drama, Michael attempts to simmer down before viewing the surveillance footage. Michael, thanks for being here this afternoon. I know we had to pull you away from work, and we appreciate your quick response. No problem. Since the first time that you contacted Cheaters, have there been any changes in your relationship with Cynthia? No changes. Pretty much the status quo. Everything stays yeah. the same. Are you ready to look at some of the information that our yeah. detectives have? Let me see what you got. On the first day of the investigation, there's a detective outside of your home. The detective that was outside of your home observed a man approaching. He goes, knocks on the door. Cynthia comes out with this gentleman. They get into her truck. They go to a restaurant that's not too far. And you can see by the body language, and there he pulls her hair. and. They kiss as they go in. From that point, Michael, they leave the restaurant, go to another bar. You're still at work. They were observed on the dance floor, dancing quite closely. And after spending some time there, she comes on home, drops off this gentleman. At that time, Michael, we had you put the hidden cameras inside your home because we felt like Obviously, if she was there most of the time during the day, we may be able to capture some activity going on inside the house. On this particular day, the same gentleman arrives at your home. You can see by this, there's quite a bit of activity. And I know you can't see too clearly there, but there she is. Michael, right now, there's a detective that has been following this gentleman. We have reason to believe that he's going to go by your home again and visit Cynthia. I want to check with the detective right now and see what's going on. All right. 
Laura. Yeah, we just finished up the second interview. Have we had any movement with this guy? He just went to your house. Okay, did he just get there? He's been there for a bit? Okay, all right, we're gonna head over right now. All right, are you ready to go? Yeah, all right, come on. Yeah, we're rolling right now, lay it out for me. Okay, his truck's still outside? All right, I see you, all right. Yeah, see you right now. Okay, there's his truck. Go out this side, don't slam the doors. Okay, you got your key. This way, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let everyone get in place, let's get in place. Keep it down, keep it down, guys. Come here, open the door for Just unlock it. Look at you. Can you explain? Man, man I just come by here just for a second. This is the car we Second and what? Stay in huh? between, stay in between. Man, I didn't mean to. Man, you you didn't, didn't mean to watch. Huh? Look at this. Cynthia, can you tell us what's going on? Who is this dude? I just have to Cynthia? He's just a plumber. I just the, to he's just a plumber? Yes, he's just a Get plumber. Get out of my house. How often do you need plumbing? Coming up, the conclusion. He's just a plumber? Yes, he's just a plumber. Get out of my house. How often do you need plumbing? Not very Go, often. Go, get out. We've noticed that he's come here quite frequently. Go ahead, dude. No, he you hasn't. Have an, no, he hasn't? We know that he's been here Look on three you. different occasions. Well, he's here to After six the years. Oh. Oh. You hey. get oh. This is your... Too, Michael, ain't it? come on now. Get out of here. Oh, ain't nothing you can say. I can't. No, just listen. Okay. What? You can't clean it up. You well, Kelly, you're always at work. You never give me any attention ever since I had surgery. You never tell me I'm pretty. Nothing. You can't clean that up. Ain't nothing you can say. All are the same. They all in the end. It ain't gonna work. Why? You can't clean it up. Can't you, can't. you give me a good chance? Well, this is vexing. It's been going on for a long time. No way. Hey, that's my code, Debbie. Treat this woman right, you and Eddie. Wrong, dude. Get your keys. Get my keys get in out. my truck. What? Get your keys and get out. Yeah, man. Get your clothes. I need my. Wait a minute, buddy. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 oh, oh, I'll leave if I want to. What y'all doing? Showing on it. Where you at, Mike? Bye, Mike. Here, get you. Take it with you. Maybe your boyfriend's got it. You say something stupid like that one more time. Mike, where's my key to my truck? Do you have a second set of I'm gonna key? tear this place up. For her truck. The parts was upside down. Where, upside down where? In that 
here in the kitchen. Maybe your boyfriend's got it. Stop it. He drank all the beer up, too, didn't he? I, oh, man. I you got the key to my truck. Do you got it? I ain't got it. Why I lie to you? You told me I love you. I believe everything you told me. Mm. I told you, damn it. You, you're the one lying to me. Give me my truck. Michael, I know this didn't go down the way you hoped, and I apologize that things happened the way they did. And I know that, that this is difficult for you, and, and I know you don't know how to process everything that you've seen. They both left. They're just walking Good. down the street. I don't go. know if either one of them could find their keys. Well, you know what? At least now you can move forward, use the last six years as a as education and information, you know, get what you can for it. I think at this point, it's best to put that behind you and like you said, move forward. But again, I appreciate your time and attention. Thanks. And best wishes. Following the confrontation, Michael struggles in anguish as he decides what to do about his tattered relationship. At the end of the show, Cheaters discloses his thoughts on the matter. But next, Cheaters presents Yasmin Franco. Yasmin first appeared on Cheaters as she discovered her lover's stark faithlessness. Yasmin Franco, age 38. Yasmin discusses how her vulnerable state coincided with the betrayal of her longtime lover. We get there and boom, just like a brick wall. I'm in shock. I can't believe she's actually there with him. I'm actually physically experiencing this, experiencing this. And it's the hardest thing, hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. Kenny, I'm Joey with Cheaters. Now, can you explain to Yasmin why? <laughs> Her? Out of my face. Danny, what are you don't worry doing? about that. Why don't you just talk to, talk to her? Don't you mind your business? What are you doing? Man, this is my business. Do this to me. What do you? Me. Look at you. This is why. What are you doing? What is she doing? She's just trying to and get the truth from you. Why don't you mind your you. business? This is my business. This camera's in my business. Why couldn't you be man enough just to tell her? Man enough? Why don't you get out of my face, man enough? I felt so like I just wasn't in control. I, it, it's actually better that I was in the wheelchair a lot better because there might have been it might have gotten uglier yeah. don't worry you sit tight you stay here baby sit what the hell is wrong with you you yeah. do this in all way i'm Dan. not the one that's Dan. cheating on anybody Dan. i'm such a different person i'm happier uh what i got out of the last relationship made me a stronger person and i know that this relationship i have now is because of me, because I'm happier. And I'm moving on. Michael Laughlin claims that he's reached the boiling point as far as women are concerned, but especially with Ms. Murphy. He's convinced that all females are out for themselves and they want only to cause men unjustified agony. On the bright side, Michael is now entertaining the idea of purchasing a mail-order bride to satisfy his desire of finding a loyal, forthright companion. Michael comments, American women are spoiled, whiny, untrustworthy tramps. Maybe a foreign woman will have a better understanding of how I need to be treated. Cynthia Murphy reportedly is now searching for a place to live after Michael had her removed from his home. She claims that Michael's cold and emotionally abusive nature drove her need for affection from another man. Cynthia does, however, admit to still having feelings for Michael, but believes a split was inevitable. Suspect Murphy finally confesses to having cheated on Michael for an extended period of time. Billy Hartley says that he's completely in love with Ms. Murphy and comments that she's the best lover he's ever had. Despite all the drama, Mr. Hartley wants her hand in marriage, but was quickly shot down, explaining that Ms. Murphy informed him that she's just not interested in a long-term relationship at this time. 